Hey everybody, back with the camera project, or camera motion control project. Um, still working on the software, of course. I've got uh, a fair amount, of do, amount to do there. Uh, the more I thought about the way I had the rail system set up, the less I liked it. Um, it just seemed, uh, well, too gimmicky and too bulky. So what I've done here is we'll take a look down here on the end oh. I've taken the rails that were up this direction and I've, I've dismantled everything and I've placed the rails down flat and put the aluminum uh, guide rails back um, on the sides again you can see all the way down there you can see now there's this little tiny canyon instead of that big huge canyon before. And what I've decided, what basically the issue that I had was before I was going to have to have the Arduino and all the logic units and everything either at one end or the other. And that meant there was going to be a lot of cable moving around and I didn't like that. Um, that's just asking for trouble. So what I did was I took the timing belt and split it in half and glued glued and and nailed with little tiny finishing nails uh, that timing belt onto each side of the inside of this narrower track uh, canyon area now and what my thinking is is this I'll have Oh, and I've taken, uh, I've taken the, each of these, uh, timing gears did have, uh, a flange around the top so that the belt would stay grooved in there. Well, that's the way this is going to work now. I had to take those off. The idea now is that one of these will fit up against this side and one will fit up against this side. So we'll have one motor back here, pressing against, say, the right side. And we'll have a second motor up here, pressing against the left side. So there'll be constant pressure one way or the other. And then, again, I, this is going to have to get reworked. But the idea is that the motors will be mounted underneath the trolley. Um... And all the electronics packages, the Arduino and everything, will actually be mounted on here. So, as this moves, the only thing that has to follow the trolley is the power cable. Uh, I won't be dragging control cables around for the motor drivers. I won't be driving, dragging cables around for the Arduino. Um, or the power source, you know, I may go ahead and just mount a 12-volt battery up here on whatever trolley I end up building. Um, but I was not happy with the way that was. I think this is a much better design. Um, and I may, you know, I'm still not sure I'm going to go with this, but I wanted to try it out. So I just disassembled everything and reassembled it this way. Um, you know, I'm not in any hurry. I want to get it functioning as well as I can. One thing about doing it this way uh, is that originally in one of the earlier videos I wired the big easy driver boards in serial um, so that before if I had a motor here and a motor here pulling the you know pulling the timing belt this way I could send them both the same commands, but that's not going to work now because one's going to be on the left side of the track and one's going to be on the right side of the track. When they move, when they move, let's call this forward, this direction, they actually have to rotate in opposite directions. Um, so I cannot send the identical commands to them. I have to basically send the identical commands but the direction command has to be reversed for each motor in order to get them to move in the same direction down the track. Uh, so that's the current plan. Um, you know, as with my earlier, you know, like Christmas project videos, I like to 
you know, show where I've gone wrong in my original thinking and, you know, and what my thinking is along the line. Um, you know, these projects don't just... I don't plan everything out ahead of time. That's, that's just not the way I work with this kind of stuff. Uh, so, you know, there are mistakes are made. Um, but we'll see how this works out. Uh, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to have to build a new trolley, get some probably some different kind of wheels for this. Because um, this is not going to work the way this is set up right here. Uh, not, with, not with this new, not with the way the rails are mounted now. And not with the way the motors are mounted. Because that's simply too thin uh, or too shallow. Um, and the trolley is going to have to be quite a bit bigger and heavier anyway. Because uh, I'm now thinking that instead of screwing the uh, camera directly on here, I'm going to mount uh, a ball head uh, tripod head on this so that I can tilt and you know and pan the camera. And I might even go so far as to put another motor on here to allow me to control maybe the you know the the pan and tilt of the camera as it's moving down the track. Um, anyway that's all for right now. Uh, it may be a little while before I get another video up and uh, oh I bought uh, not that anybody cares but I bought some of uh, these little shelving units today and cleaned up the mess I had with all my parts and everything sitting over here on the couch. Give myself a little more room and make my workspace a little neater. Um, oh, I did uh, I did try using a glue gun uh, to get the timing belt glued to the wood, but that didn't work. What ended up being the, uh, the best solution um, for what I had in the house was I used thumbtacks to tack the track onto each side in a, in a couple of foot intervals and then glued it down with wood glue and after the wood glue dried a little bit pulled the tacks out and then uh, used tiny little finish nails in between the teeth of the tracks so uh, I've already well I might have one up here uh, no I've already put it away I mean they're just itty bitty little nails with not really much of a head on them and then uh, used a uh, a punch to kind of countersink them in between the tracks so they don't get in the way of the motors uh, the teeth on the motors anyway so that's all for now talk to you later